<laughs> Do you even know who she is? <laughs> Do you know who she is? <laughs> I think you're gonna want to pay attention and care to know who she is. Because for some whatever reason you feel not inclined to one enjoy your days, enjoy. Yes, I'm in Southern California, Los Angeles, sunny. However, aside from that, just being alive is amazing. That there is Anne Frank, and I'm over here at the Museum of Tolerance. And for some reason, my spirit, my soul, my, how do I say? My existence was moved and inspired to actually come over here. I was driving westbound on the 10 freeway and I saw a sign, Museum of Tolerance. Like, oh my gosh, I've never been there. That's where I want to go. That's where I want to go and get inspired. And I'm really taken back by the story of Anne Frank. There's quite a bit in this museum to watch. I got a little bit of what I needed because I want to bring back some family members. However, to know what Anne Frank went through and her thought process and everything, to actually see her record her life and write down write down all her thoughts, all her emotions, using her gifts. And she was even talking about being blessed with her gifts and talents. That right there, I believe, is just amazing. It blows me away. and has everything to do with my life, like today. I wrote down a couple of months ago what my ideal day is like and what that consisted of. And part of that day, what it consisted of was actually going into the world, going into the city, going into the beach, going into the desert, going into the mountains, whatever it may be, what I like to call the North American jungle, United States of America, or the global world, the Pangea jungle, and get some form of inspiration. And for me to actually do this and record my life and stumble across I've heard of Anne Frank I've heard about the stories but I didn't know where she actually came from what she went through and her whole spirit and vibe for life <laughs> all I know is if you feel like you can't take what's going on all the bullshit happening to you right now in life you really have to stop and think about where we are today where we came from and the potential of creating such an amazing life in the future. Like, really, our issues here today in this world, at least in the United States and majority of the countries, we're not, you know, there's a lot of third world countries and forgive my brother, or forgive or help and bless my brothers and sisters out there in the world that need help, that need some tools or education and resources. <clears throat> I'll get there. <laughs> However, Generally speaking, life is really not that bad. We're not in concentration camps. However, the world, the way a lot of things are designed, it's almost like as if you are trapped. But the fact of the matter is you have the choice and you have the power to choose what it is that you want to do with your day-to-day -day life. If you want to discover your gifts and your talents and share them and write down your thoughts and record your life or whatever it may be. But taking all that stuff and using your time and using your resources, getting over all your fears and actually getting out there and delivering value to the world. All I know is if you guys need some form of inspiration or motivation or assistance or uh, someone that you believe that's, I don't know, credit worthy or I don't know, just follow me, discover my, like, follow me, be my friend. I'm recording my life. I'm doing my best to go through the, I will. I will go through this transformation. Regardless of the outcome or the, re, the results that I have now, I will continue to stand my ground like one of my boys, Elon Ferdinand, or Ferdinand, I forget, sorry brother, uh, from Satori Prime, let me know on one of his video blogs. And also a consultation that I actually had with him, it's awesome. Standing your ground and being enthused about your life and passionate about your life regardless of the results that you have today because they will come about 
This is your boy Mark. I'm in the land of Lala, the city of angels, and I'm making my dreams happen. <laughs> Get out there, love your life, go discover the gem in you. Peace.